Stu. Point away at Wrexham. Aside from asking the bleeding novice, you must be absolutely delighted with that. Yeah, I'm delighted. I think you saw our structure today, how it works against some of these top sides and our patterns of play that they struggle to really come and press us and get after us. Uh, we went through them and they've scored 11 goals in two games and we've restricted them probably to two chances, which you'd take before the game. And, you know, George Wickens has done well. But credit to all the lads, if I'm being honest, they're the ones who deserve the credit. As much as we work on our patterns, like they're taking it on board. And I think, like we said earlier in the season, we're getting better and better as a team. Game by game, we're getting better and better because we're learning on the job, and that's it. We have limited sessions to work on stuff, but we're learning on the game, and the lads are taking it on, on board. It's, it's been good. Really yeah. good performance today. And that's three clean sheets in a row. So defensively, we're, we're looking really good. And uh, Jaden Sweeney came in today. How did you think he got on? For, you. For, for a debut, for, for a lad that's not played probably for a long time, he played in the Calibre Cup or one of those Papa John's Cups, whatever it was. That's the last time we've played to come in and perform at the intensity that they come at you at. I thought it was brilliant from the kid. Uh, we, look, we, we try and research and watch all the players that we bring in. Uh, we've been a little bit unlucky with a few niggles here and there, but it's what you expect in this league. I think we've coped with it well. We've picked up another one today with Nick. Uh, we won't know until tomorrow to see how he is and stuff like that. But look, it's a squad thing. We said it from day dot. The team that starts the first game of the season is not always the team that finishes the season. And the, the whole squad, like Jerome, he's played injured today for us. And that's what he is. He's a skipper. He's a leader. He's a warrior. He's come on the pitch. He's still got a little niggle in his groin, but he's doing it for the team because we need him. And, and that's what it takes to consistently get results at this level. And since, if we go back what we, a month ago, the, uh, the Torquay game, you know, we've really turned it around since then. What what do you attribute that to? The crazy thing is, when you watch the Torquay game, you don't really want to come out and interview and say it. We actually didn't play too bad within the game. We made three errors and conceded very quickly within the game. They scored two welders. One centre-half steps in and puts it in the top corner. And the other one, he spins in the box and puts the other one in the top corner. So, as much as it's one of those games for us as a group we want to forget about because it's not what we're based on now. We're based on being hard, resilient, hard to break down and then we can go through teams when we need to. It was frustrating but I don't. nothing's changed. The lads have just kept doing what we're doing. We've, st we've stuck to our, our principles. We've said that it's a process. The process is slowly but surely coming good now and that's what it takes in this league. We've just got to keep working out. We're still going to have bad days in this league. This is one of those leagues. You've just seen Grimsby. They won the other night against South and they lost four on the bounce. Anyone can do it. Torquay last season, they were nine points clear at the top of the league. Then they went and didn't win a game in seven. So this league's just relentless. The quality in the league, you've seen it today. Mullins, he's a top, top player. We've kept him quiet. We've restricted him to one chance. So look, we're delighted. Uh, we need to make sure we recover properly now. We've got a big game on Tuesday night away at Dover. So, you know, and this is the tough thing now. There's no real prep time for us because we're back. The lads are being work on Monday, recovering, and then we're at the game Tuesday. So look, it's a big game and we're looking forward to it. Are you daring to, to dream about looking up rather than down? Look, I think no one wants to look down. You always want to look up. We set a points target for the lads and if we're on track. And that's all I can say at the minute. We are on track. The lads are performing to a very high standard at the minute, like you've just said. What's that? Six clean sheets, six or seven clean sheets now in this league. It's incredible. And that's what it takes in this league. You've got to keep clean sheets and that's what we're doing. And Stu, on a personal level, you're 220 50 Wilson fans singing your name at the final whistle. How are you? I'm pr it's it's proud, I love it. Uh, I think the fans have been incredible. I think we had a, a very sticky game against Dagenham, which I get everyone's frustration, but what everyone's got to understand, we're frustrated. We don't want to play like that. We don't want to concede two late goals. We don't. We're all frustrated in games like that, but we've just all got to stick together. Like the other day at Barney at home, the atmosphere is incredible. And that atmosphere probably gets us to win 1-0 because we were poor on the day. It was a poor game. It was a scrappy game. We weren't great. But you need the fans behind us and really behind us. And today, there's 8,000 here, but you can hear our fans constantly from minute one to the 95th minute, 96th minute, whatever it was. And that drives the lads on. That's when the lads are tiring. That makes that little bit extra to sprint back in their shape. So we need them. We're all in it together and we've got to be in it together. People say the 12th man, we've just all got to be in it together. 